In the video for today, I'm going to speak to you about is it possible to track a lost or stolen Android phone or device using its serial number. Now the f Hello my friend, my name is Kenneth Brown, welcome to Channel Signal Tech and how are we doing today? I hope fantastic, well if you're not, this is going to cheer you up, so watch my video till the end. The first thing is, if you have misplaced your phone, if it was stolen or lost, what you think is, how could you track it so that you could get your phone back? That is your first instinct, right? So the first thing you do is try calling your phone from a different number or you get online to Google Find My Device and try to locate your phone, right? This is what you would do. If you get your phone back by doing either of the two things that I mentioned, that's fantastic. But if you do not get your phone back, the next thing that occurs to you is to file in a complaint to the local police station. But if you do not get your phone back, the next thing that strikes your mind is to try and trace your phone through its IMEI number or the serial number. So what you do next is go online to Google and uh, you know try to trace your phone through an IMEI tracker website or uh, you know whatever it is. These are all fake websites. It's not going to help you. Okay, Google has provided you with a fantastic option of finding your device online by using find my device so you could use this this is a genuine way to trace your phone at least to the last location but if you think you try and trace your phone using its serial number at least these are the steps what you need to do the first thing is you could try calling the customer support for your manufacturer to try and see if they have a way to block the device using its serial number or you could get to the local police station to file in a report so that they could block the phone using its IMEI number or the serial number so basically if you want to trace your phone using its serial number directly online on Google through websites or paid services and all that don't do that that's all fake that's not going to work at all okay do not waste your money do not waste your time nothing of that sort is going to work if you're interested in tracing your phone using its imei number or serial number the those are the two things that you need to do that i mentioned to you earlier and the advantage of calling your network provider or your manufacturer to try and block your phone if they have that facility is that your phone is going to get blocked even if you do not get it back Nobody else can misuse your device. And also, if you file a police complaint, which you need to do, you are going to you know, safeguard yourself. If somebody else finds your phone and misuses it, you are not going to get pulled up. And if you are from a country which has a specific department dedicated to these type of services, to block IMA numbers or to unblock IMA numbers, to find a phone and give it back to you and stuff like that you could go ahead and request to block your phone using its IMAI number you could report a stolen phone out here and officially get your IMAI number blocked and again there is no way that you could trace your phone online using its 